My last day as a bee farmer. Okay. Are we waiting for Belinda? Okay. Bye. Thank you for taking my cows. No problem. I promised I'd get up at four. So, no lambs, but she looks like she's just starting to, or maybe has been, so I'm gonna check her, because she's got quite a bit of discharge. It's windy. I'm not gonna show it, but over yonder, my ewe with the retained placenta has died, and I'm upset. Good morning, guys. It's uh, Monday. Back to work. Yeah, my lady with the retained placenta has died, so now I gotta figure out what to do with these lambs. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'm gonna check this you and see how she's doing, see how many lambs, if she only has one, I could maybe foster, foster one of those lambs again. Oh my God, That's so awful. That's two. Now that I see what she looks like, that's totally what that other one died of a couple weeks ago. It was totally retained placenta. It was 24 hours. I don't understand how I could be that late. Anyways, it's gonna be a better day. So if this one lambs, that means there's only two left. There's three in here, but I don't think that one is pregnant, if I had my guess. Okay, so I did an internal in her, and I can feel feet and a head. So everything's normal, it looks to be fairly normal, but she's not fully dilated, so I'm actually going to step away and let her let her do her thing. Now I put her in a far, in a pen, in a lambing pen kind of far enough away from my camera. Sometimes when they lamb here, they push up against the bunk and then I can't directly see. So I put her over here. So I'm gonna run to the house for a little bit and do some editing and uh, drink some coffee and just watch her. And if she doesn't progress in about a half an hour, an hour on her own, I'll come back out and assist. And these girls just do not look at all interested. I'm still not sure about this one, but it's not as loud this morning, but... It's standing in the vicinity of where it needed to be. So, I don't know. I tried to get it on her teat last night, and she wasn't all that interested. So maybe she drinks when I don't see her. All right, I've been watching her in the camera and she's just not progressing. So I am gonna see if she needs help or if she's okay. Hey, is it just too big? I would typically put down the camera, point it to her, let you see all the things. YouTube has gone through all my videos, this whole lambing, and is targeting any, any video that's got like afterbirth or me delivering lambs, like they're not letting me show it. And I really, I don't know what to do. I know some of you want me to start a Patreon channel. The whole point of this was not to make you guys pay for information and education and figuring out what to do, what not to do by watching my mistakes. I don't know if I'm being targeted. I don't know. You guys let me know, are my videos too graphic? Like, is it upsetting? If I make it, if I make it too cutesy, then they target me for the cop law So then they say, this is a family show, and then they take off the comments. I mean, I make very, 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 very little off this with ad revenue. Like it's, it's, it's not much, but it's something. And at least you can create content and know you're gonna get a little bit for it, for your time. I probably don't have time to do all the extra things that a Patreon channel would need to do. But you guys let me know, what should I do? I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing, but I'll check her, try to get these lambs out, and then I'll show you after, because this is ridiculous. Like, how are we supposed to show people what really happens when YouTube doesn't let us? We have, we have videos go viral of people 
doing abusive things and or stealing animals or like terrible terrible things and yet YouTube when we do respectful true videos of what happens we they limit us anyways I'm gonna just keep doing what I'm doing if they limit it whatever as long as they keep playing it and you guys keep watching it and you guys keep supporting me for me that's why I'm doing it I'm not I'm not doing it for the money I have a job obviously I have a business That was an avalanche. I don't need it to be monetized necessarily, but it is a lot of work. This is, on average, it's two, I've got it down to about two to four hours of editing every day, but it's a lot of work. Anyway, I'm gonna go check this view, and I'll let you know. Hey, I'm back, and I delivered two lambs. The first one um, it was just a hard pull, because she just, wasn't quite dilated, but no problem. Got that one out. The second one, oh my gosh. Okay, so it was way back in, and then when I got the feet out, the problem was the neck was cranked back, so I could not get, and she's so tight, because again, just not a great dilator. I couldn't get my arm and my hand in enough to get the neck turned around, so I finally got it and then it popped right out. So two really nice lambs, but that means no fostering ability. So I do have to grab these lambs and put them on the machine. Now the lamb from yesterday, this you from yesterday, her original lamb doesn't even look that good. So I'm just gonna take a few minutes here, make sure all the mouths are warm. Cause remember that you has a, her teats were really like downward facing. So it's just harder for these lambs to get on it. But they should be a little noisier if they were not drinking. Sometimes day two, they, sometimes day two a lamb just looks like they've given up on life, but they haven't, they're just like food coma-ish. So, okay, I'm gonna work on fostering my own new babies now. I just finished feeding and I think that second last you is lambing. She was pushing, but I didn't see anything. So if I don't see anything, I have to help her. I'm just gonna go check it out. And now you're eating. Like, are you in labor? <laughs> I swear she was down and pushing, like a half an hour ago. Weird. Okay, so I've just pulled her into a lambing pen here. And I did an internal, and she's not dilated. So I'm gonna leave her. I've got some feed here for her, so she can hang out here. Uh, this you yesterday that had the the other foster baby and her own, the one that I was here late and she was upside down. These lambs still, I don't think, have drank off her. So I gave them a bottle this morning, and they drank fairly okay. And then the one that died, her two drank as well. So I'm just gonna grab a bottle now before I go in for lunch. I'm gonna feed the bottles to them, have a quick lunch, and then Belinda's meeting me after lunch. We're gonna take Ellie to the to the sale barn as well as I have a couple more Herefords at Jamie's place. He's been housing them for me in the winter. Two were open, they never got bred, and they were with the bull for a long time, so there's something going on there. So we're gonna get we're gonna take those two I think Belinda's got a couple no Belinda's got one and then mine so she's gonna be my beef girl today and uh, she's gonna trailer them for me I'm gonna go with her so this afternoon it's this afternoon I guess I'm gonna be a beef farmer a beef farmer for one more day well just in the nick of time Belinda's just about here probably and this you had twins and they were another hard pull um, they're dilating, but I think they're just getting too fat, to be perfectly honest. These ewes have been fed, oh, like these guys have been on a high energy ration since probably second last week in November. <laughs> so my ewes are getting large and the lambs are getting really large. They are healthy. Mom is happy and full of milk, so I'm hoping they'll be fine because I gotta get across the road and get Ellie ready for trans for transport. Those girls don't look at all ready. So we have one left uh, and a potential two if that one is lambing. 
I haven't checked my comments from yesterday to see what you guys think. I'm really on the fence. Even today, I think she looks like she's more bloomed, but we'll see. If we could end on a good note, that would be wonderful. All right, I better get going. Well, I'm here with my girl. One last time. My last day as a bee farmer. Are we waiting for Belinda? Yes, Belinda's running late because she had a calf as soon as she went to leave. She's calving right now, so she's busy. So I'm just hanging out with Ellie for a few more minutes. Just saying our goodbyes. <laughs> I got her head in the locking head gate because we also have to put an RFID tag in her ear before we take her to the sales barn. Hi, you're so pretty. She is pretty girl. Okay. Bye. Thank you for taking my cows. No problem. Oh, no, back to sheep. I think I have everything. I think I got mine. All right. All right. I'll be in touch. Sounds good. Bye. Thank you. Well, the cows are delivered to the sale barn, and I actually knew the girl at the sale barn, so that was pretty cool. Um, my daughter's in 4-H with her, so that was kind of a neat little... I've never been to the sale barn on a different night than my Wednesday night um, sheep delivery, so that was cool. I'm just going to feed my bottle babies quick here, and then I have an appointment actually at like 7.15, and it's already 6.30, so I got to boogie, and that's the day, hopefully.